Today, I'm going to show you how to choose between the two most popular positions when beginning a data science career. One of the most popular questions that I receive is, Dr. Lau, what is the difference between data scientists and data analysts, and how should I choose between these two? The best way to find answers is, of course, to look at the job descriptions and also LinkedIn profiles. So for that, I went through 57 different LinkedIn profiles and job descriptions, and this is what I have found. Now for data analysts, first of all, they will need to collect, explore, and analyze data and they will need to identify trends and patterns from the data that they have collected. And lastly, they will need to create visualizations and also produce reports. On the other hand, data scientists, of course, they will need to analyze data as well, but they are more often required to design experiments and also test hypotheses. And then based on these outcomes, they will need to apply different algorithms to build machine learning models and then deploy these machine learning models to a production environment. In a nutshell, both data scientists and data analysts, they will need to gather actionable insights to make informed decisions. Let's look at the skill you need if you want to become a data scientist or data analyst. The three main skills that you need are number one, mathematics and statistics, followed by SQL queries, and also communication skill. We use statistical approaches like t-tests, standard deviations, and also variance to help us to explore data, detect signals, and also identify unique patterns and trends. For mathematics, we then apply different algorithms to train and build models like regressions, decision trees, clusters, and also neural networks. You also need to master SQL, a structured query language that helps us to assess and manage our data in database so that we can use it to create, retrieve, update, and also delete records. Personally, I consider communication as one of the most important skills because often we have to make presentations to people who are less technical savvy and such as the end users, consumers, and also stakeholders. Now, good communications include asking the right questions instead of keep talking, listen and observe to their responses, and also how do you motivate your audience to take actions when we present our findings and results, let's use data to support and to show the impact of consequences if they don't do so. Let's look at the tools that data scientists and data analysts use when we are doing our daily jobs. When we are exploring data, especially when the data is not super huge, we will still use the tools that we are familiar like Microsoft Excel because they are easily accessible. And when we are producing visualizations or building dashboards, we we'll normally use business intelligence or BI tools such as Power BI, Tableau to deliver professional charts and reports. If we want to perform some serious heavy lifting tasks such as writing algorithms, building predictive models or machine learning, we will turn to programming language like Python or R. When it comes to career prospects, we often hear that companies are hiring data analysts and data scientists. But how high are the demands for these positions? Let's find out. According to LinkedIn, the number one emerging job in Malaysia is data scientists. Now, it was also the number one in 2019, climb up from number five in 2018. When starting out, a junior data analyst has a starting pay that's around 2005 to 3005 and then their salary increases as they progress with different tasks and responsibilities so that a senior analyst who are experienced makes about 6 to 7000 ringgit per month. Now, as analytics manager, just like all managers, right? You will oversee a team of analysts and your primary duties are to manage and lead them towards achieving goals by implementing different analytical solutions. And once that you are at the director level, you will work more closely with the management and more involved in their day-to-day -day operations and using data analytics in setting directions. For data scientists, it's actually a relatively new role, especially for most SMEs that have never done much in using data to make decisions. An entry-level data scientist will make around 2.5 to 3.5 thousand ringgit per month, and once you are able to prove your value, the salary goes up to quite high, like 4 to 5 thousand mark, and a senior data scientist can make up to uh, 8 to 9 thousand per month. 
Like I said earlier, data scientist is a new role that's constantly evolving and so far I've never seen too many companies hiring lead data scientist or data science manager. The most senior data scientist is usually also the team lead of a data science team. Also, I didn't see too many positions on data science director either. Instead, senior data scientists are promoted to chief data scientist or sometimes chief data officer or chief information officer like CIO. And therefore, their responsibilities and salaries are pretty much on par with other C-level positions like CEO and COO, for example. For you, the key question here is how do you choose between a data scientist or a data analyst position? Before that, let's try to understand the process in an analytics project. It usually covers three phases from descriptive analytics, predictive analytics to prescriptive analytics. Speaking from experience, I found that data analysts usually suit someone who prefer to be more specialized in the industry. For example, my students who prefer to work in finance industry, they can choose to become a financial analyst, a risk analyst, or a fraud analyst even, as they need to have deeper understanding in those industry to know where they can find the right data to help them to answer the questions. Whereas, data scientists suit someone who are more of a generalist, now using myself as an example, I have worked in different areas from agriculture, IoT, retail, e-commerce, to even coronavirus. Data scientists work very closely with data analysts and using the outputs from their analysis to help us in building models and putting those models into different applications. Now before we end, I would like to remind you that data scientists and data analysts, they are two very different roles. While data scientists are good in analyzing data too, but their main role is to build models and take those models to production. Data analysts should not be seen as the junior version of the data scientists as they can also develop their own expertise in respective fields. Alright, I hope this video cleared your doubts and helped you in making decisions of which career to choose in a data science industry. Thank you and I will see you in the next video.